stream chat locking in. I do honestly appreciate every, appreciate every single one of you that's here. I actually want to mention this quickly because I just saw this now on Hypebeast and it's flipping funny. I think somebody mentioned it in the chat just now. So it looks like Ami Leon Dor have launched a live music series, which I feel like doesn't really make much sense for their brand. But having thought about it a bit more over time when before I kind of prepared for the show, it does make a lot of sense in terms of maybe humanizing a brand somewhat. I'm a big fan of AOD. I like what they do. Obviously, the prices are flipping crazy. It kind of reminds me of like Vizvim, fuck you, pay me days when everybody was in love with fucking Hiroki Nakamura. And what uh, was that his name? Hiroki Nakamura. Is that Nak Hiroki? I think Hiroshi or Hiroki? Whoever the name is, the guy, the founder of Vizvim. Everyone was in love with him. But then there came a period where Vizvim prices just went crazy high. And a pair of like FPTs were like just under a grand or something. Button up shirts were 500. T shirts were like three, 200 like i've still got a couple of vision shirts that i now have my wardrobe that I've, don't get me wrong the quality is amazing i've washed them to death and they still hold fucking you know they still flip and maintain their form and shit but the prices are always crazy but the quality is amazing and even though the you know the shapes and the styles of the clothes are a little bit repetitive and there's not much innovation going on there i don't think so a lot of the things are based on vintage items especially when you look at stuff like visvim a lot of sourcing a lot of sourcing of like vintage clothes and basically remaking it and whatever it may be and i mean um, aod has a particular kind of you know aesthetic that they kind of go for that they also kind of pencil in with a lot of vintage stuff and they kind of remake it's all really good but it's a bit overpriced for what it does. But one thing that I've actually kind of realized with AOD, maybe because I don't go to the store because I just consume most of the stuff online. I don't actually go to physical stores. The only physical store that I've kind of gone to a lot, maybe in the past 12 months, may have been like Goodhood and maybe Dover Street Market. Those are the only two stores I've actually entered in physically. That's it. Um, I haven't been to End, I don't think, ever once. Um, I've, I've not. I've rarely been to Foot Patrol ever since it's moved to a location over there. But big up the guys over there. I still got some friends over there that work there. So big up them. And a few other places. Selfishes I don't give a fuck about. So I mainly do my shopping from online. But I still get the feeling that AOD is a little bit sterile. It's a little bit soulless. It's kind of like the opposite of flipping Fear of God, which makes no sense because Fear of God's kind of got the same color palette aesthetic kind of thing as ald but actually with this live music series with them utilizing their actual stores and obviously i think the stores already have this like coffee shop thing going on that people flip in love i actually think this is a good thing to do this is actually a really really good thing to do because it's going to humanize ald and it's going to make people actually um you know uh think of it as more than just a place that makes expensive fucking polos and it's actually going to put a face to an uh, you know a, a um a face to the name it's going to give it a bit of a vibe it's going to bring a community around it and also to be completely honest aod is always like a bit of a stunt a bit of a flex a bit of a flossing type of brand right you always gonna people always look good wearing it but i never think of music I never think of joy. I never think of expression. I never think of dancing. So actually, this is quite good for LD because it actually will help them to be somewhat cooler. Because I think they make cool clothes, but I don't think there's anything cool about the brand per se. You know, but I think the music side of it will give it another little kind of pop. So I actually do like it. And I like the fact that they're actually doing it themselves and they're not doing it... Um, in partnership with like a boiler room or something right they're just doing it on their own sort of platform and kind of letting it live um the first in the mix series was actually legendary um hip-hop dj i guess you call him a new york legend stretch armstrong was there let me actually play a bit of it now uh, i'm not i'm gonna take off the I'll take on mute so it doesn't so it doesn't flip and get copyright striked but as you can see here pretty kind of self-explanatory dj mix series here going on with him playing at the mob at the store in mulberry over there in new york and put the uh, the thingy the p down a bit so you can see it so there's a sweeping pause so pretty self-expansion pretty easy to see if anything maybe the angle's a little bit dead maybe kind of you know zooming in a bit so we can see maybe the, con the controls of the mixer and stuff because i think they're using a rotary mixer and stuff so that'd be nicer to see i think there's another angle here actually so you can see a little bit more of it behind the booth no, it's actually not a rotary mixer. It's a standard mixer. So I'll take that one back. But it looks fairly decent enough. And I think it's actually a good initiative going forward. So I'm actually a fan of this. I actually think it'll do them the world of good to have a little bit of a vibe and a soul and an energy about the store. And it'll not just be fucking sterile and not just be fucking solar. So I'm all for it. 
Um, this is a blurb courtesy of Hypebeast. It says, Ami Leon Dor's success isn't contingent on the clothing or the collaborations alone. Streetwear loyalists have long known this. Quality and transparency are certainly pillars of any brand. Bro, what's, what are they fucking talking about? Um, let's just get past that fucking um, fellatio. One of the biggest ways AOD has cultivated his presence is in the curation. From its timeless lookbooks, the way the shops have been laid out to the vintage sports ephemera. Yo, who's writing this? Two paragraphs in this. Do I have to explain what's going on? Okay, there we go. Third paragraph. Banking off the latter, the New York-based label has announced a new monthly DJ series produced exclusively through Apple Music. Wow, it's going to be through Apple Music. Yo, AOD has gone big time. They're signing deals with fucking Apple Music. Holy shit. Okay, fair play. Dubbed Sound, the inaugural edition features legendary New York-based DJ Stretch Armstrong, who guides us through an hour-long set filled with a pulsating blend of funk and soul. How's that ALD's flagship store in 21... Um, for Mulberry Street or 214 or 214 Mulberry Street, Stretch flows for one of 45 to the next like a surgeon in an operating room featuring tracks from uh, Lowe's. Remember someone describing my DJ set like that, right? Reaving from 145 to the next like a surgeon in an operating room. Bruh, you guys need to chill out, man. He's playing some 45s on some shitty turntables, you know, on a pretty basic setup um, in, you know, in front of some wooden furniture with some fake vinyl in the shelves. It's not that deep, guys. Like, let's just let's relax a little bit. But as you can see there, it's all ready available. Check them out on their flipping site. You can see on their actual channel it's on there, which is great to see. And let's see how it kind of evolves and kind of goes on from there, because I think this actually may do them the world of good going forward to give the brand a little bit of life and breathe some actual personality into what they do because for now i've seen it to be a bit soulless and a bit dead but you know what what do i know what do i know yeah, exactly not today satan saying ai writes that exactly i bet they are i bet ai is writing a lot of that shit it wouldn't surprise me uh big up sarlux love you back my friend big up Koira. see you in the chat there big up not today satan big up lucid footwear and clothing big up you my guy big up um dun dun daughter is there crash as well is here big up big up big up so 